So it is really not strange to shuffle around with your hands in your pockets. That's what pockets are made for. They're made for keys and gum and loose change and hands, especially in this really cold weather. It is, however, very, very weird to have other people's hands in your pockets, especially if they are severed hands. I am getting a little ahead of myself. Let me bring you up to speed on a super bizarre tale that begins last Tuesday in Pueblo, Colorado. Early in the morning, about five o'clock in the morning, a guy named Solomon Martinez shows up at a car wash. Remember that name, Solomon Martinez, because he's kind of the key to this whole thing. Uh, Solomon's roommate is already at the car wash, tinkering with his car, using the light from the car wash to, to work on the car. And the roommate kind of sees Martinez has arrived with blood on his hands. And Martinez asks the roommate if he can borrow the power washer to clean up his hands at the car wash. And, and then Martinez asks this. It looks like he had just been in a fight. His hands had blood on them, and he was covered in dirt. He looks at me and he says, you want to absolve $1,000 off your debt? I need a 10-foot hole. Ugh, 10-foot hole. What would that be for? It's all very strange. And apart from Martinez having bloody hands, the roommate notices something else about Martinez. He notices there's something weird in his trunk. Because when Martinez, the suspect, goes to get some tools out of his trunk, the roommate sees he's struggling with something, quote, big that was in the way. So that would be another red flag. So if you're keeping score, bloody hands, something real big in the back of the trunk, uh, the roommate at this point says he doesn't want to be an accomplice to any kind of murder or anything, but he doesn't call the police either. Instead, he decides to, he decides to just pass this crazy Martinez business off to uh, a friend of theirs. And that friend says that Martinez, bloody hands guys, uh, he repeated all that weird stuff about digging a 10 foot hole. For whatever reason, he decides to get in the car with Martinez and then drive that car that's got something big in the trunk to a creek bed where Martinez allegedly dragged what appeared to be a woman's headless body down to the water. Uh, the friend has some details here, too. He says the, the head wasn't attached to the body, but it was next to the body. And that friend says then Martinez pulled a gun on him and demanded that he dig that grave, that 10-foot hole that everybody's been talking about. And then he says Martinez took off. He says he didn't do any of the digging. Instead, he decided to cover his you-know-what and record a video of the body, uh, you know. And, and then he covered the body with a blanket and called the police the next day, he says. Police went out, and sure, when you know it, there was a body. And they arrested Martinez, you know, the guy with the bloody hands who told his buddy to dig a hole and bury a woman's dismembered body. And what do you suppose was in the pocket of Martinez when the police arrested him? A severed hand. It was in a plastic bag up here in the left breast pocket, a woman's severed hand, at which point they started asking a lot of tough questions, as one would. And Martinez gave them a lot of really, like, weird answers. Like, weird. So let's start with question one. Uh, do you know the victim? And Martinez says he knows the victim, says she was a prostitute. He'd hired her a couple of days earlier, and he swore that he dropped her off safely at home. Okay, so then, you know, I, I, I skipped ahead. Question one was, why do you have a severed hand in your pocket? <laughs> That would be my first question, too. He says he carried it around for two days, but it doesn't mean he killed or dismembered anybody. Yes, it does. Question two is about the prostitute. Question three, if you didn't kill her, why is there blood in your car? And that's when Martinez pointed to a very convenient um, reason. Um, the roommate. Actually, the friend of the roommate. The guy who drove to the creek bed with him saw the body, called the police, put the blanket over, you know. Martinez says he lent that guy his car, and wouldn't you know it, his phone was in the car in case there's any triangulation going on. Question four. If somebody else is the killer, why were you washing dirt and blood off your hands at the car wash? It's a great question. But Martinez has an answer. He says, I'm a germaphobe. Is that a crime? All right, let's go on to question five. What are those scratches on your arms? And Martinez says that his chihuahua scratched him. And then he changes it. He says, no, he actually scratched himself while he was picking up the chihuahua's poop. 
This went on for three hours, this back and forth garbage. And police say Martinez's legs were shaking and his voice was high pitched and he was clearly very nervous through all of this. So that is why he is now being held on suspicion of murder and bail has been set at a million dollars. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.